So with 1.6 billion monthly visitors, 73% of the search engine market, Google is the most popular search engine in the world. And so they've got a ton of data. Every year they compile this data and put together a list of trending searches based on what people actually were searching for. So if you think about it sort of like a survey, uh, this is probably the biggest sample group you can possibly find. And this also may give us a glimpse into 2017 as well. So this is a look at the top trending searches on Google for 2016 when it comes to consumer electronics and video games. And they've got a ton of different categories. So you can go look at people, actors, sports. You can go look at you know the most searched overall. Uh, and so I'm just going to just take a couple of the ones that I think you would be interested in and go over. So first off, the most popular search worldwide, looking at everything, it was a video game, Pokemon Go, which I still have not downloaded. I still have not played, so I really don't know anything about it other than I remember hearing about all the muggings and people getting hurt. I remember Arlington Cemetery having to put out a statement saying, hey, don't play this game in our cemetery, please. Uh, so I remember a lot of depressing stories, but it was all anybody could ever talk about there for uh, several weeks uh, once it released. Uh, so it brought a lot of depressing news, but I also know that a lot of people had fun with it, and it was the most searched item this year. Under consumer tech, iPhone was the most searched term, but Nintendo making a good showing with number five coming in with Nintendo Switch, which is pretty impressive when you consider that it was really only announced, I believe, in October. So it didn't have a whole lot of room on the calendar to make it on the list, but it did make it all the way up to number five. And I do think that that could be, you know, one of those omens for what's coming next year. I think a lot of people are excited about this uh, particular console. I think a lot of people who skipped out on the Wii and the Wii U, like myself, and who were just looking for something a little bit more traditional, even though the Switch, I wouldn't say is traditional, you can play it in a traditional way. And so in that sense, I think a lot of people are excited about it. And I know me, myself, I'm looking forward to hearing a lot more as well. Coming in at number seven, Nintendo again, this time with the NES Classic, which they have royally screwed up the launch to. It is so difficult to find one of these. I've been looking for one myself. I still haven't been able to find one, uh, but I really want to play it. And if they would have just had the supply ready for the demand, it would have been a huge seller this holiday season. But so far, I don't, I don't know, where they were just sitting around the table thinking, you know, we'll put this out, but I don't know who would want one of these, so let's not make a whole lot of them, you know? So anyway, they totally screwed that up, but it was one of the most searched for items this 2016. Sony also making the top 10 list, coming in at number 9 and number 10 with the PlayStation VR and the PS4 Pro. But Sony also kind of fumbling the ball, uh, sort of like Nintendo when it comes to the PSVR. Just a couple of weeks ago, a research firm who had estimated that Sony was going to sell uh, almost uh, like 2.3 million or, or something units like that as far as the PlayStation VR, like they thought Sony was going to sell 2 point something million PSVR units in 2016. But after looking at the holiday sales, they said, you know what, we're going to revise our number. And now we only expect Sony to sell somewhere in the neighborhood of around 750,000 units in 2016, which is a huge drop from, you know, 2.3 million all the way down to 700 or something thousand. But one of the biggest reasons is supply. Again, it's hard to get your hand on one of these in some areas. Now, some stores do have them in stock, but you can't go to like Amazon right now and go buy one. They're out of stock currently. So again, that was a launch that was botched. Moving on to the video games category, the top two searches, I didn't even know what the hell these two were. Like I had to go look it up because uh, I had never heard of them, but apparently, Pretty popular mobile-type browser sort of games. Uh, coming in at number three, though, Overwatch, which some people were a little bit butthurt that Overwatch won Game of the Year a few weeks back at the Video Game Awards show. But I don't think, you know, if, if people aren't interested in a game, like if they don't like it, I guess it's hard for them to see how other people can like it. But I got to tell you, Overwatch is still extremely popular and it has been almost this entire year since it came out. So it's a really popular game. A lot of people love it. 
Battlefield 1 coming in at number 4. I've said that this Battlefield, I thought, was probably the best one since Bad Company 2, as far as my opinion goes. So I really enjoyed it, and apparently a lot of other people did too. Uh, Warcraft, Dark Souls 3, uh, Blade and Soul, Madden, No Man's Sky, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare round out the top 10 as far as video game searches go. And I guess if you wanted to try to say any platform won as far as exclusives go... I guess you'd have to say the PC because they had Warcraft and Blade of Soul, uh, which I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure both of those are only on the PC. So those are your most searched items for 2016. If you want to go check out the other categories, I'll leave a link down in the description box where you can go check out the other topics that weren't uh, about electronics or video games. Anyway, that does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn.